We have uh, presently on this uh, structure a monitoring system that is basically the same that the Eiffel Tower in, uh, in France is being monitored. We have three captors uh, on installed or were being installed on the outside beams. Uh, one to monitor the, the, the bending at the center of the beam as well as uh, two in the extremities for shear. And what we're able to get from this information monitoring is real-time 24-7 data as the behavior of the beams. The uh, white captor here is placed at the center of the beam to measure the deflection uh, as traffic uh, goes uh, by. We also have it connected to our BlackBerry and what we're able to find out through this is uh, if there is uh, an anomaly, an alert is sounded, we're, we're uh, uh, informed and we can take action. Otherwise, we can look at any time, uh, any beam uh, to see their behavior. This, in conjunction with the inspections, uh, gives us a, a better indication of where we should concentrate our uh, repair procedures. Well, uh, with over 160,000 vehicles crossing daily, uh, the capacity is very high on the Champlain Bridge. And our challenge as engineers here at the Society is to make sure that the capacity is adequate. So with all the programs we have in place, uh, the inspection, our 10-year program, uh, this living uh, structure keeps on changing, be it summer, be it winter. So our challenge is to make sure we're one step ahead of the game up until the new bridge gets built.